is currently taking a quick shower but I can't even describe how happy I am right now I just want to remember this moment for forever because I am genuinely living my dream life and I'm so happy one of my favorite things ever is to stay in hotels and get in the bed and flip through the channels. I don't know what it is about that, but this is the nicest hotel I've ever stayed in. And I'm so excited to bring you guys along for the next couple of days in our life. I'm all tucked in. We went down and got some water from the front desk and we're just going to be here for the next couple of days. I'm not really showing myself right now because I am just a little worn out from the five and a half hour drive that we just did. but. I will talk to you guys in the morning. We're going to get like the best sleep of our lives. Um, and I'm so happy. I feel in a dream and when we got here I cried because of how happy I was. It's just these little moments in life that matter the most to me. I'm here with the love of my life and... I can't describe how that feels to me, it just, I didn't have any words, I didn't talk for like the first minute when we were in the hotel because I was just so speechless at how happy I was to be here and how grateful and blessed I am in my life. I'm so grateful for my husband and welcome to the start of this video. and. The next couple of days in our lives my husband surprised me with this whole trip i knew we were coming on a trip but i didn't know the hotel the location i didn't know like anything about the trip that i normally know about trips that we go on of course we travel often but we wanted to do something a little bit more intentional with just the both of us. We wanted to do a trip that was just us two for a couple of days and that's what this is. He basically picked out and planned this whole trip for us for the next couple of days for to just have us time and just do whatever we want and whatever we want to do together. And then we road trip five more hours to South Carolina in a couple of days. And I think I'm going to watch like a house show because I really like those. And when I'm at a hotel, I always fall asleep with the TV on and I wake up in the middle of the night and turn it off. It's just... Are you okay? My love? He didn't hear me. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna put on a little show and really enjoy this so much. And I will talk to you guys in the morning.
so we're actually breaking down the skin barrier. We're not actually boosting what the skin does best for us, which is keep bad things out and good things in. A lot of the issues that kind of we solve for is around user experience. You know, there's been an awful user experience with humidifiers to date, predominantly because they all get moldy. As we went deeper down the rabbit hole of the development process, we realized there was a lot of things we could solve for. All right, all right, all right. We are mixing it up for the holidays. Today we have Dr. Dendi. She is back on the podcast. You guys loved her so much. She is absolutely incredible, a board certified, award winning New York dermatologist. And then we decided to bring on the founder of Canopy, Justin. And Dr. Denby is on the board of Canopy. So in this episode, Dr. Denby gives all her secrets, her tips, her tricks when it comes to fillers, skincare, how she glows, and even humidifiers. She's obsessed. And then we get the whole spiel from Justin, who's a serial entrepreneur. I actually launched a humidifier with Canopy a while ago, a pink one, probably like a year ago, and had such a good experience that I ended up launching a diffuser with them. So I wanted him to come on the podcast, give context of who he is, why he started, why I decided to partner with him, but also like I wanted to make sure that you guys got skin tips and tricks from Dr. Dendy. So in this episode, it's kind of like a round table, which I think you will love. We ask all different kinds of questions because I knew about the beauty benefits before Canopy had launched, and they're such an eyesore, they're so ugly, didn't want them out, it was impossible to find a cute one. Yeah. So how do you involve Dr. Dendi to make sure that they are feeling better in the skin in which they live? And so my questions always were, do you have a humidifier? Because it's good for your, for your baby's skin, it's good for your adult skin. But the reality is, like, we used to, my husband and I used to fight over, like, who was going to clean the humidifier? hotel and it goes somewhere else but I wanted to show you guys a little hotel room tour that I didn't get to at the start of this video we just got back from eating the breakfast downstairs from the hotel and I have never had a better hotel breakfast so we decided that we always want to stay at the embassy whenever we are traveling. I wish that we had one more night here, so we said that we'll definitely be coming back because I have had the dreamiest stay here at the embassy. Um, but I want to show you guys our hotel room. Um, this is my coffee from breakfast, and you guys have seen this already, but I love these curtains and draping from the ceiling. Um, this is our ever so comfy bed. Um, we got a king size and I'm really happy that we did because now I want a king at home. I think this is my first time ever staying in a king bed and I really, really liked it, especially with Saint at home. Um, so, this is our bed. Um, we have lamp stands on both sides, of course. 
Um, and then coming over this way, we have um, this TV, um, which I told you guys in one of the first clips of the video that watching hotel TV in bed is one of my favorite things in this world and it was so nice. Um, and then we have a little mirror situation here. Um, I am wearing that hat today because it is, we woke up to a little bit of a winter wonderland here. So I'm gonna wear that. Um, this is a little closet. And then this is like the main area of the room. Pardon the mess because um, we are just like packing up, of course. Um, so we have some, this is right when you first walk in. You can open these shades as well and they will show you into like the whole place. I'm actually going to show you guys because I want you to see, I mean you've already seen it, but I want to show you what it looks like out there. This is right outside our door and I love it so much. When you first walk in, you also have a little TV stand, a little kitchen at area, and then this little lounge. Um, if you have like any kids or if we had a kid or if we had a little baby or just a little a little one um this one also turns into like a fold out bed i guess or if you have any guests traveling with you um that's the coat that i'm wearing today um and then we are like all ready to go we're all packed up i really like this a lot um, right across from the bathroom which I will show you guys the bathroom in just a couple of minutes Ricardo is currently using it um, but this has been the dreamiest day like I said and we are so excited to already come back because we have loved it here so much and there is snow on the ground which is so dreamy i just love it here so much we're currently in west virginia i know i've said that but anyways good morning we are currently in south carolina and it is our first morning here and we are walking to go get some coffee i'm really excited we just found this place and it's a beautiful morning it's christmas eve and look at how good he looks <laughs> Megan?